Hi, my name is Bailey Hogan from Side Effects Labs, and I'm here to walk you through a demo file showcasing the latest release of Alpha Biome Tools, also known as Project Dryad. This demo file teaches you how to use the toolset to scatter vegetation based on real world properties of biomes, environmental influences, and plant interactions. To get started, ensure you have the latest package of Side Effects Labs installed and download the files from the content library or our new GitHub repo for Side Effects Labs examples at github.com slash side effects slash side effects labs examples. Now let's dive into the file. To begin, I'll explain the structure of the file. As you can see, the object level nodes are grouped in network boxes. They're grouped by tool, starting from the top of the pipeline, stepping through each tool until we get to the high level demos at the bottom that showcase the full pipeline. Display everything within a network box together to see the demos side by side. Dive into each geometry to reveal the nodes and notes inside. There should be notes describing the different parameters that were changed from default and why. In the first red example, you'll learn how to define biome attributes to a JSON or BGO file and how to read and write those biome definitions. Similarly, you'll learn how to define a plant's preferences for those biome attributes and how to read and write plant definitions to a file. This example covers the nodes at the beginning of the pipe. Biome define, biome definitions file, biome plant define, and biome plant definitions file. In the second yellow step, you'll learn how to assign biome attributes to different areas of the terrain with biome region assign and biome attributes to terrain. Each example shows how to generate biome regions from different inputs like an image, curves, or height field layers. Thirdly, the teal nodes demonstrate how the biome attributes can change based on terrain shape to reproduce various environmental impacts such as rain shadow, wind exposure, soil quality, and temperature change with elevation. Temperature, precipitation, and soil all adapt based on the parameters set on the Biome Attributes Evolve tool. Lastly, the remaining examples showcase the Biome Plant Scatter tool, as well as the full pipeline of biome nodes working together. At this point in the workflow, plants are matched with their preferred climate and soil conditions where they compete with nearby plants for resources and the strongest survive. The last two examples are more practical use cases for efficient vegetation scattering on large terrains with varying biomes. The five biomes demo has biome regions for desert, savanna, temperate forest, boreal forest, and tundra with different plants divided into each section based on their preferences. The mountain lake terrain demo features an alpine environment with biomes that vary based on elevation. A deciduous forest appears in the warm valley and as the elevation increases and the temperature decreases, coniferous trees take over until the temperature decreases to a level that only the shrubs can tolerate. Both of these larger terrain examples also incorporate masks to prevent vegetation scatter in rock debris and water. After watching this video, I hope you have a better understanding of how to navigate and utilize the biome demo file. We encourage you to share your thoughts and feedback on the alpha biome tools. If you're a part of our Houdini Academy Discord, feel free to join the conversation in our labs channel or submit an RFE on our support page. Your input helps us create better side effects labs tools for our users. Thank you.